in your head coach. The Prophet Sallallahu told him that I, I love you. And one of the things he told him that don't let, don't leave or don't complete your prayer unless you ask Allah for certain things. Which is what Allah ma'ini ala dhikri. Ya Allah, ya Allah help me to remember you. A'ini ala dhikri. Allah ma'ini ala dhikri. Ya Allah, I ask you to help me remember you. You understand? For you to have Allah, you ask, you have to ask Allah to help you have Allah Himself. There's no other things, no any person you will do that. For some people, if I did something to uh, uh, Sheikh, uh, Sheikh Elias, the only thing I will go is like I will go Sheikh Fawzi, I will just go and see the one he has good relationship with. Then I will tell him, please, you know, I want, you know, my brother, Sheikh Fawzi, can you go and please ask in my on behalf to forgive me, him to forgive me. But when it comes to Allah, فَفِرُّوا مِنَ اللَّهِ إِلَى اللَّهِ You have to run away, okay, from Allah to him, to Allah. I explain. You run away from the anger of Allah, and you go to his what mercy so that he cover you his mercy the same thing also if you want allah you want to always remember allah you don't go and ask the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam ya rasulullah help me and so that i remember allah this is this is shirk this is shirk you never gonna go to the graveyard and ask a chef a wali so-called wali you never even know if they are wali they are not wali you're not gonna go in front of your picture, a picture you hang on in your house, and ask, oh, a hell, no, a shirk. So here the Prophet you know, give this dua to Ma'an bin Jabal, he said, Allah ma'ini ala dhikri. Ya Allah, help me to remember you. Wa shukri. And Ya Allah, I ask you to help me give you thanks, be grateful to you. Help me to be always grateful to you, Ya Allah. And what? Wa husni ibadatik. Ya Allah, a'inni ala husni ibadatik. That's the meaning. Ya Allah, I ask you to help me to perform your worship in the best man. The best man is what? Who can give me two conditions of the best man of every action we do? Every Muslim should know this. Hmm? I will remember you. I will remind you again, inshallah. One day, I will ask you that question. Brother, our action is in two conditions. Two, just, it's not enough. It's not just a lot. It's just two conditions. For you to have your action, to be accepted, to have a, per, you know, a perfect action in the sight of Allah, not in sight of people. Some people did a lot of action, but in front of us, in front of people, it's so beautiful. But Allah in front of Allah is not even an action. It is even evil. They will get even uh, the punishment. It's only two conditions for every action we do. We, you know, hoping from Allah to accept it. It's two what? Condition. The first condition is what? Ikhlas. The first condition is what? Ikhlas. What is Ikhlas? Sincerity. You do it for the sake of Allah. We understand? This, this thing, we don't see it. It's only what? Allah who knows that. Because it's in your heart. You will see a person will come and pray, recite the Quran beautifully, but only Allah knows. If he does it so that you guys praise him, or he does it for the sake of Allah. Sit down. And the second condition is what? That's the most... That's the, uh, that's the problem that the, uh, divide the people, the Ummah. That's the problem we have in our community. Hmm? Huh? The first thing is intention. The intention, the sincerity, it goes with the intention. You do it for the sake of Allah, sincerity, all that is in, in that. But the second one is the one that divide the Ummah. <coughs> Perfect. The second condition of the action is what? You have to do it exactly the way the Prophet did it. 
There is nothing a person will do in this dunya, okay, or in this in Islam, this matter, that he will tell us that oh, he's the the most smartest one. That's the reason why he brought it. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam doesn't know. He has to always, you know, confirm or follow the teachings of what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is the dua. Wa kusni ibadati. Ya Allah, I ask you, aimni ala kusni ibadati. Ya Allah, don't let me go work in you know, something else. Don't let me waste my time, my energy in something that you will never accept. And Allah is not going to accept if he's not, he doesn't follow the way of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. When they say, Sabarqa alladhi biyadi ilmul ku wala kulishayim kalu Alladhi khalaqa al-mata wal hayata liyabaluakum ayyukum ahsan amala Ahsan amala wa khusri ibadati. Allah make life and death so that he what? He tests people. And he's done who created them, you know, for, for what? The reason is what? لِيَبْلُوَكُمْ أَيُّكُمْ أَحْسَنْ عَمَلًا To see, to test you who is going to what? Perform perfectly the right way his actions. And they said, when they explain it, they said, they interfere, they say what? Is the teaching in class, it had to be what? In a very pure heart, sincerity, and also you have to be mutaba, the way the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam performing. We understand, right? That's the reason why some because some people say that ah, people also, you know, me after pray, you know, after the prayer, assalamu alaikum wa salam alaikum wa salam, for me to read alhamdulillah rabbil alamin, is it a problem? Is it a problem? Because it's after prayer, you have to bring the way the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is doing. It. Oh, brothers, you know, we finish prayer, salam alaikum salam, for Imam to make dua for us to say, Ami, Ami, Ami. Is it a problem? Dua is a, is a problem? Yes, it is a problem. Because dua is an act of worship. You're not going to do it the way you want. If we leave it the way we want to do it, then everybody will do the way they want. And the, the, the deen will become what? A, a joke. What is the problem with people gathering and making du'a, you know, army, army, army? It's a problem because du'a is ibadah, it's a worship. You're not going to worship Allah the way you want, but the way Allah wants for us. It's like the, you know, when Allah says, I don't have, let me live, what are you like? I don't have child, but they say that you have. They force him to, to have child. He say he doesn't have, and this people they say you have. Allah said, I don't want you, you know, you know, praying me in this way. And you say, this is the way I want to pray. Ah. <laughs> Sometimes you ask, you, you, catch, you, know, you ask yourself, you, have to, you don't understand. What is, we have to stay away from Bidah. Bidah is the way you come. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did the way, the right, the way he does it. You leave it and you grab something else. It, you wasting your time and your energy. And then talk about that. You are committing a very, very, very big mistake sins. That will take you to hellfire. If you don't uh, repent. In every matter in this thing, brothers. The Prophet said, uh, he said, when anyone who brought something new in, uh, in this matter, okay, his action will be rejected to him. So may Allah save us, brothers. That's the reason why when they say the, you know, the 10 days, the 40 days, in one year, someone passed away and so on. All that is fit that we have to stay. People will say, oh, people ah, leave us here. Look, yeah, yeah, people, they will, you will see with them, they, they act like it. they are the one who are right. You see that? For people to sit down and make it to harm, they don't insult, they don't insult anyone. Is that a problem? Yes, it's a problem. Because the moment you say that it's du'a, you moment you are looking for reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah, you have to do it the way Allah teaches you, the way Allah wants, not the way you want. My, I'm the one who created you, Allah is the one who created you. It's like you go to the store, you say you want a black jacket. To the store, you know the you know the customer service guy, he was like, no, tip the red. I said, I want the, the black. And he was, no, take the right. I'm not gonna take, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna buy it. That's it. I'm not gonna say, I will go to another store. 
It's the same thing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, your action has to have a stamp. And the stamp is what? The visa is what? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam follow the, the teaching of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So we are talking about it. This is the thing. The Lord has given us the power to make the world and the life of all of you a better job. We are talking about it. For you, you know, you are asking Allah to, you know, to help you to perform the worship of Allah Himself, okay, in the best manner. We understand. So another du'a is what? Allah ma'ini a'udhu bika min al-bukhul, wa a'udhu bika min al-jubul, wa a'udhu bika min al-urada ilayya or ila. إلى أرذل العمر وأعوذ بك من فتنة الدنيا وعذاب الخبر. في سنة الدعاء، النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول: يا الله يسيك يو بروتيشن فروم وات؟ ميزر لاين، يو نو فور من ال، أعوذ بك من البخل. فور أي بيرسون وات؟ ميزر لاينز. لاين إز لاين أي بيرسون هو إز سو بخيل. أوكي؟ هي إز بخيل لاين هي دازن جيف. أوكي؟ and he doesn't do the work that will even make him ill. We understand. I seek your protection from what? To be like a coward, like incapable. That's another, another one. You ask Allah to what? Some people, you just see them, they are weak. They don't even do anything. They are incapable of doing anything. They cannot even benefit themselves. Always using the stuff. And even for dunya, even they don't do. For me, Allah protect us from that. Only maybe you just want to beg. You will see everybody is running and running, but you see them sitting down. They don't care. They said that you know, there's, there's, they, you know, somewhere, you know, people get food and so on. But the lazy, the laziness just stop them of doing. If you see that you think they, they, they don't need, but the moment you bring, they want from you. May Allah protect us from that. And he said, Ya Allah, I seek your protection from being returned uh, to feeble old age. Uh -huh. <laughs> when a person, even when they are young, but they look like old. You see a person, they want to, okay, uh, they want to, you know, we don't talk about an old person also will become like a, a burden for people. We know some old people, they even feel shy to call their son, come and worship me because I, you know, use the restroom and so on. It's hard because it kind of it's kind of humiliating them, okay. But here is also for a person who will act like they always behave like old person. May Allah protect us from that. And I seek refuge from the trial of this dunya we already did that and the tournament of what the grave. Another to ask Allah from Inna Salam al Jannah to Awwad Kamil Nam. We spoke about it. The Muslims should complete their prayer, five daily prayer. They don't ask Allah for Jannah. They don't ask Allah to protect them from what? The hellfire. Uh, another dua that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is one sahaba who did it. Allahumma, inni asaluka ya Allah bi anna kal wahid al ahad samad al jalil al nalid wa lam yulad wa lam yakul lahu kufu al ahad al tabfir wa liyudha ya dhunubi inna ka antal bafur rahim. This is another dua. So you can go over all these dua, inshaAllah. It's the page. If you have the book there of Fatras, this kind of okay, Fatras of Muslim, when you go, is the du'a number 24. If you count the number uh, number one, like when a person wake up and so on, so on. Number two and number 24 is the invocation after the shuffle and before you say Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Try to read them and keep revising them all the time. Shall I? Some of them will stay with you, okay. And when you finish the prayer. Before you finish the prayer, you say Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. You turn your right, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. You can you can add wa barakatuh. There's no problem. Assalamu alaikum. Some people say that there's no problem also. Okay. If you see some people doing, it's not a problem. But when you finish, brothers, it's not you just go to tusba or you, go, you don't just go to Allah wa ilaha illallah wa rahim al No. The first two things the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to do, even to see, before they say anything. Even majority of Iman make that mistake. If they have announcement, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, uh, borders tomorrow, we pray this time. It's not right. You take your time, you say, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah. Allahumma anta salam, wa minka salam, tabarakta, 
Ya Dhal Jalali wal Ikram Is that, is very big over here And they even uh, transliteration in English We have it here So you can go over it It's good always to do it Even when you do your nawafil When you pray in the sunnah prayer Okay The moment you have a lot of sunnah prayer to pray, to do Like the way, we, you know, I love people and even all of us sometimes we do it, it is a mistake We finish the first two rakan, we say Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah Before even the, the people who pray behind the Imam finish the Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, Imam already said Fatiha of the third, the, you know, the next two rakan it, It's not right The Ta Imam you finish or you, you pray by yourself, you want to pray four rakan or three rakan or You say Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah It's a sunnah for you to say Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah Allahumma anta salam, wa minka salam Tabarukya dhal jalal wa ikram Then you stand up and continue But Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah Allahu akbar, alhamdulillah, ya rabbil alamin It does, it is not right, where you going? So may Allah make us understand So this, we have to learn that Inshallah, next week we will continue with the Quran after Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. But the most important part is all our children and we, all of us, we have to know that. Astaghfirullah three times. Allahumma anta salam. Wa minka salam. Tabarak ya dhar jalal wa ikram. I'm not saying if you don't do it, your prayer is not valid. No. Your prayer, the moment you say Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, your prayer is done. But the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa used to do this. And he, if Allah already guaranteed him Jannah and he is doing this, We deserve to do it all the time, inshallah. Subhanakallah, alhamdulillah. Inshallah, Allah, ilahi, 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 ilahi